everyone, I'm Ann from Ann Makes. Welcome to my studio and welcome to the Craft Room Tour 2018 The Update. That's right, it's been a while since I've moved into what was once my brand new studio. It still feels really brand new to me. I love my space. I love working here with all the natural light that I have. It's so much nicer from working in my dark and gloomy basement. <laughs> So if you're interested in seeing all the changes I've made, all the additions I've added, all the storage ideas, tips for organization I can give you, then you'll want to stay tuned. And just in case this video runs a little long, I will separate this into a series of videos. I want to share with you as much as possible all the tips I have for storage and things I use that are working for me in this room. So thank you so much for stopping by and here we go. So welcome to my studio and here we have Snowball who greets us. <laughs> so we are entering the studio just like before through the main sliding glass doors from my house. The floor is still a radiant heating floor, which I'm very happy for. It was very comfortable this winter. There's my island that I was very excited about and turns out to be a great thing. A new thing there was my air conditioner uh, that I put in this just before summer started and I'm so glad I did. I knew it was going to be hot in that room because of all the glass windows and uh, I wasn't wrong and we had an extremely hot winter hot summer so that air conditioning really helped in addition to the ceiling fan and the new curtains so over here we have my desk and my new little sign <laughs> that alerts my family members that I am filming so this is the same desk as before. Of course, I have this very old boom box. I really have to change that because the sound that comes out is just not good. And some little project that I made and some of my decorations are there. And my boom box is sitting on top of those little wooden drawers that I recently hauled. Now, below the desk, <laughs> the desk that was built on top of those um, Michael's storage bit boxes and drawers. Uh, now the only difference is that it's chock full of supplies. And there you're getting a glimpse of the right side of the room, the cupboards where I store all the papers that I use, stickers, washi tapes, and uh, supplies that I use with my Cricut and that's what I call my Cricut corner there because on the counter you can see all my Cricut machines and this is a pine unit that was built for the space new in this room is this drawing desk that used to be in my basement but is now upstairs some storage carts here by the end of the desk with a marker storage box that I designed and made from foam board. Again, um, a view there, a shot of my crickets and my cricket supplies. The, I don't know if you remember, but in between the cupboards there was some space that would have been lost, but I had that utilized to put craft paint bottles in the back there. Also, I use the same space for the rolls of vinyl. In between the lower cabinets, the space is used by those clear acrylic bins that I hauled. I get a lot of stuff into those little nooks and crannies. I'm using every inch of space that is available to me. And I'm glad I'm doing that. So and there you get a glimpse of another craft cart that I have that holds uh, business papers, manufacturer catalogs, my desk where I spend a large amount of my time at where I do videos, I edit, I write 
posts and articles for other websites. So I have some nice LED lighting there, a tripod for when I'm filming from my desk. So there I have my computer, my laptop, my iPad, a stand for my phone, and the new on that column is a corkboard. There from my desk, uh, this is what I see. I see out, I see throughout those windows. They're very dirty at this moment because we are still having construction done on the outside of the house. So, yeah, they just look really dirty right now, especially since the sun is shining right on them. And over here, I'm just showing you again the counter. And there's my new Cricut mat, self-healing mat that's hanging on the sticky hook. My bins with my letters, my drawers with the letters, I should say, and drawers with pencils. Sewing machine cabinet, that the white thing there with all the drawers. My storage carts that I have coloring books in. And here we're back looking at the cupboard where my rubber stamps and clear acrylic stamps are stored. Uh, that column of drawers at the back is for my punches. The bins up on that shelf are numbered and the contents are listed in my supply catalog that I have. And there's three craft carts here. The kind of brown one is temporarily holding materials that have to be put away, supplies that will be used for upcoming projects, and uh, lots of business paperwork. The middle cart had some yarns in there. I'm showing you those bins again. These are my metal doors. I've used pockets uh, that are magnetic on the doors. I hauled those. You can see that in a video. I repurposed some storage items I had that were purchased at Michael's years ago and they're on that wall. In the pink bins I store my sequins and I have room to grow because several of those containers are empty. And in these drawers I mostly store stamping supplies and sewing supplies. And this set of drawers is uh, rubber stamps, wood mounted rubber stamps. Now I'm showing you the other end of the room, just like a glimpse of what it is. This room is long and narrow, and it's an odd shape, so it's very hard to see the entire uh, room in one shot. And so this is pretty much the best I can do. And the lighting uh, is the same. I'm really glad I got all those LED lights and the ceiling and the LED chandelier above my island. Oh, this big white thing here that I'm showing you, it's a tripod that I use if I am filming what I am working on. And of course, I'm showing you another odd light that I have. Uh, these odd lights do make a huge difference, especially in the winter or in the evening. And my, again, my island with my Lazy Susan with all the tools. I'll just show you all those cupboards again facing what I refer to as my messy area where all the paints and messy things that may require a uh, cleanup are located. I'm really happy to have that sink and it's proven to be extremely useful. Over here you see my storage tower. Uh, there is a video of how I put that together. A little glimpse again of my seating area, my view from the outside. It is summer now, so it's nice and green. There I have an easel. And there's the end of the studio with more storage. I'm just showing you again the storage tower here. A new decoration on this wall. And this is where I have stored all my paint brushes. Again, the space in between the cabinets was not wasted. That was built to hold the 
craft paint bottles and below the counter the space that was in between those cupboards uh, was also used to build shelves and install acrylic bins to hold craft paints and other supplies. There's my mixed media supply card chock full of yummy supplies. There I'm just showing you that there's a fish hanging on the column there. It's really um, a scratching post for, for Kitty because she is in this room a lot with me so I put that there and it is very colorful. And on the other side, you can see she has a little bowl for her so she can have some water. And this is where I hang my aprons. I've got a magnetic board on this wooden column. You may recognize some of these baskets and clear bins. I purchased those at dollar stores and I showed them in haul videos. So I'm showing you again. All the little bins I have for storage, all those little drawers that are proving to be very, very useful. And, oh, I just put these wooden boxes on the wall here. I had that space, and I just thought, why not? It'll make for great storage. And there's a snowball. She's just loving the fresh air that's coming through. And then another shelf with some more numbered bins. Again, those bins are identified in the craft supply catalog and the contents are listed in that. And there's my like workshop type of area where all my heavy duty tools are, as well as the things I use to bake clay that uh, involve hot glues or anything that would be melting, ironing, all the heat kind of tools uh, are located in this area. And so I've hung all my tools uh, on the pegboard that is installed above the counter. Pegboard is really the way to go. If you can put that up in your own craft room, I highly recommend it. And I have here all these little drawers that were purchased at dollar stores. Uh, most of them are labeled, and I just moved the uh, step ladder so you could get a better view of it. Uh, most of the drawers are labeled. Uh, it is my goal to finish labeling everything, so I know exactly where everything is. Uh, some pine shelves that hold art journals I made, and I. Uh, hope you saw but uh, that's a magnetic door and I use it to I use advantage of the magnetic door for the magnetic tins that store little supplies some more shelves here with books oh there's a glimpse of the magnetic tins baskets I'm just showing you the system that's around the doors and there's me and again a view of my studio or craft room from the other end of the room. So uh, I'm trying to show you guys everything <laughs> as much as I can. Uh, again, I'm very excited about my island. It's proven to be lots of fun, especially when I have friends over. We can sit four here comfortably and we all have our own plugs to uh, plug in our heat guns and whatever we're using. And I love my view and it's actually quite, usually it's quite quiet and peaceful here, especially during the weekdays, which is nice for me. And that's, I'm just giving you, I think, a final look of where everything is and in other videos I will go into more detail of what's behind those cupboards and such. Please note that I do work in the arts and crafts industry and that in no way is this video intended to be a bragging video about everything I have. I know I have a lot and I may have a lot more than a lot of crafters do, but 
it is what I do as a hobby and as a job. So I want to thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate all your support and I would like it if you would give this video a thumbs up, a like, comments, uh, please share and stay tuned for more videos about more details about this room. And thank you so very much for watching. Take care, stay crafty. Bye.